Good afternoon, everybody. Coming to you live from the desert floor from central Arizona. That's right, 10 minutes out of Phoenix, Arizona. It's Eddie Smith here with Country Road Entertainment. How y'all doing out there? Hope everybody's safe. Um, and a big shout out to all of our healthcare workers and our essential workers out there. We appreciate you. Today, though, we're going to kind of keep it mild and we're going to talk about my favorite thing in the world and hopefully yours country music. That's right. We have a local favorite for you on today. That's uh, Mr. Josh Roy of the Josh Roy Band. And uh, I, I can see him in the lobby with a smirk on his face. So uh, I don't want to wait, make him wait too long, but we'll go ahead and bring him in. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing, sir? <laughs> Been a fantastic day. I'm glad we didn't drive all the way out to Gilbert to have to turn around and come back home. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know how that 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 transpired. That all fault, see, somehow there were some cr wa uh, wires crossed, and uh, Josh thought he was actually uh, coming up to my location today. Next uh, time. I was excited. I was excited to see you in person. I was going to give you a big old air high five and a air high five. hug. <laughs> or we just throw stuff at each other. That we'll do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are so, you uh, doing? Oh, well, you know, I can't complain too bad. I mean, the, the worst thing that's happened is, you know, you, you go into lockdown, you put on a couple of pounds, you know. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot to turn on. What's camera that? Takes away, the camera takes away, I think, a few few pounds, I think, too. So Takes away? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Even when I was sitting at a nice 180 on camera, I still looked a little <laughs> chunky. <laughs> but now it's actually real, you know. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, though. Hopefully, within the next 14 days, though, my new workshop will be done. So I'll actually be out there making my wife furniture that I've been promising her for Oh, oh nice. a few years. So, you what kind of what furniture? What are you going to make? Uh, we're going to start with some um, uh, end tables for the living room, and they're actually going to be cool. They're going to be like real, like rustic barn style looking, you know, farmhouse looking. Nice. But inside will be hidden charging ports, which she keeps saying she doesn't need. But if you were to walk out into the room right now, they all either have a laptop, actually, laptop and a phone, or a laptop phone and a tablet in front of them. Oh yeah, you're gonna need those. Oh, yeah, so you know how many times I've run around my house trying to find uh, trying to find at least one. I and I've bought like several several chargers and had probably about six of them in my house at one point. And I'm still to this day I'm looking for a charger just so I can plug in my dang phone. <laughs> See, now you're doing it wrong. See, I got it right now. I have it whole set up like in the kitchen on one corner. Now it's a disaster right there. But I got uh, one of them like four and one outlets or whatever with the USB plugs and everything. And then I have these uh, um, adapters coming out and it's got a port or, or a plug for every single one you can think of. Yeah. See, I ain't got that. Maybe if you made me some furniture too. Oh no. Yeah. Well, this is plugged <laughs> into the wall, dude, in your kitchen. I mean, if, if there's more than just one person in the house, you need to have as many charging cables now as possible. <laughs> I love those I mean, hotels that have those lamps with the, uh, with the USB ports in them. Mm -hmm. freaking lamp, you know, <laughs> All right, this is ideal because how many hotel rooms have you, have you ever been inside that you look that you're trying to look around for just an outlet to plug something in? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's all and, behind the TV, and you got to smooth the freaking whole entire entertainment system out just to get to it, plug it in, and go. <laughs> when I was up in uh, Prescott covering um, Matt Saloon and, and um, uh, Southbound, I stayed at the Hotel St. Michael, and they even had the USB port things. Oh, wow. Now, and that I'll tell you something. I, I know they say that place is haunted, but best sleep of my life. But because I ended up having to stay a second night for budgetary reasons, and it still turned out to be a waste of time. I should have stayed. I switched hotels to um, just a standard two star. And yeah. once I got in there, I was like moving furniture, trying to get to an outlet and everything. I was like, oh, bro. <laughs> that was that was not one of my uh brighter decisions plus they screwed up my reservation so i only ended up saving 30 bucks i'm like 30 bucks in an hour of my time switching hotels when i could have just shot done my gotten my footage and then walked upstairs again i'm like eh. <laughs> what do you ever said i was the sharpest one in the shed you know? <laughs> and that. quite awesome you know so, did so you, uh, i'm sorry did go ahead you, did, you, did you get your drink uh, I have um, a tasty um, uh, uh, Yeti full of beverage. On Facebook, we can only have closed beverages, by the way. 
Oh, really? <laughs> Forgot to tell you about that. Facebook yeah, is well, very spit. YouTube doesn't care. Spit huh. Facebook, they care. Oh, <laughs> so many rules, well, right? Well, I don't have any open containers in here whatsoever, and I think his has got a lid on it too. See, this is the beauty of being a being a guitar player that doesn't ever drink a lick of alcohol. All he gets is that Diet Mountain Dew right there. It's got a lid on top of it. Diet Mountain Dew. That just sounds so bad for you, though. No, it's diet. So you lose weight. <laughs> for, well, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know about all that. Although, I, I'll tell you something. I do like me some Coke Zero every now and then. I That's my favorite now. You know, you should try the, um, was it? was it seven up zero or or sprites anyway you mix that with um bourbon like 10 high yeah and it's actually pretty tasty see i never understood the concept that you, and and i he jumps on me sometimes about it when i mix a drink uh -huh. um and i always get like hey i want to i want a jack and diet coke or or coke zero I was uh -huh. why the heck are you gonna do that you know how much sugars and alcohol <laughs> i'm like well <laughs> Well, it, well, that's when people start, you know, you know, back when we were, just, the bars were still open, people order whatever mixer they want it with just the regular soda. I'm like, wow, there's got to be a ton of sugar in that right there. <laughs> I'll have a rum and Coke. I'm like, at least get diet, man. Like, yeah, might as well go all the way, though. You know, go yeah, all out. Yeah. <laughs> so in case uh, y'all at home that are watching haven't noticed, yes, we are wearing Josh Roy's hats. And uh, yeah. You know, so a shout out. He has more coming. And actually, um, want to thank Josh for being a supporter and a patron of uh, Country Road Entertainment. And below, we're actually um, welcoming and thanking our newest patron members. We have the Eddie Cho Clark Band, uh, the Heber uh, Ridge Band. Thanks, Brent. And uh, Barbara Smith, who's from uh, Casa Grande, actually, she has uh, become a patron herself. She's a fan. Uh, all great people. Without without y'all, we really actually technically wouldn't be here anymore. <laughs> so, hey, this is a joint know. effort, man. This is a joint effort. We all, we're all doing this together. So, yeah, yeah, and I appreciate that. Yeah, that that's the thing. It's a win win. We we are all on the same team. Um, right. Have been since day one, and we just were here because of one thing, and that's live country music. So I got your sticker on the back of my car too. Oh, do you really? Oh, yeah. I'm supporting that. It's right. I got Sweetwater right there, and then I have Country Road Entertainment right underneath that. And we we shipped you at least one shirt, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. okay. I was making sure because I, I, the, the wife handles all the shipping, and I'm like, we did send Josh a whole <laughs> package, right? And she's like, I think so. She's like, check the list. I'm like, I don't have a list. I gave you the list. <laughs> My wife walked in the room and she uh, and she she held it up. She's like, "You want to wear this during the during the performance?" And I'm like, "Well, I mean, I don't want to have to take my shirt off in front of Todd, you know." So I, I get embarrassed. But yeah, she walked in. She's like, "You want to wear this?" I was like, "Oh, I'll wear it. I'll, I will wear it at a particular point." But you know, I got to wear the shirts that show the uh, the old. <laughs> uh, I'm actually I actually meant to change mine. I'm representing Dad Dad shirt today. That's right. <laughs> Well, you know what? If uh, you know, if you if you had that one of those cameras that didn't invert everything, it would still say "Dad." That's true. <laughs> that is very true. What do you just be a backward D? That's it. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> so now, with all this quarantine, see, the quarantine stuff. What what have you boys been up to? You, you are you are you working any other way? You know, yeah, um, something really cool that's been going on. Um, we you know some friends of ours put together a cul-de-sac party. So we set up our gear in the middle of a cul-de-sac, and everybody brings their lawn chairs and they sit apart from each other, and just kick back and listen to music. Man, we we've been doing that every uh, every Thursday and every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, I think everybody should be doing it, man. Everybody should be having little cul-de-sac things to where you can still social distance and still listen to live music. I actually saw that. Um, and we've been sharing it to our, uh, the Facebook group, uh, live country music in Arizona that I run. And, um, I, I kind of dig that, you know, and, yeah. but yeah, so you got people like showing up in lawn chairs everywhere. basically. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Right. Yards and stuff. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's early enough, you know, I mean, obviously we can't go until one o'clock in the morning, but you know, we go, we do like a, you know, 6 PM to, to, to nine or, or 10 o'clock when they close the place down, you know, and then 10 o'clock you can't have, you know, too much, too much noise and everything inside of a neighborhood. So we, we still respect others and we respect the, uh, 
you know, everybody living in that area that didn't, doesn't really want to go listen to any music and stay indoors. But, um, but yeah, it's for the, I mean, for 99.9% of the time, I mean, it's been, um, everybody separated. I mean, you got your people that are worrying that, you know, worrying about it and that because they, you know, they're compromised and then you got your, you got some people that really just don't care. I mean, that, that's just a fact of life, but, um, but I mean, for, for people like my guitar player, you know, when they're, they've got, um, immune systems that aren't, that aren't, aren't the best, you know, it's like, he's, he's still social distances. I carry, I carry around a, uh, hand sanitizer thing that he can spray, he can use on his hands just in case he sneezes, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so <laughs> he's not a hand cough. Right? Nice no, right? word it's just, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, there is nothing worse than a hand cougher. It's like, did you really just cough in your hand and reach out to shake that guy's hand? Right there? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I was laughing the other day. We were, um, I think it was a, a, a different interview or something. I was talking to, speaking of hand washing, I don't know if you guys realize like when when you all are performing and everything like that i'm shooting i go to take a break out of the restroom i would say 30 percent of the dudes walking out don't wash they don't even yeah they don't even yeah. look at the sink oh, yeah. and, well and, get, and you know what women are even worse sorry ladies i'm gonna call you out my my wife is coming, <laughs> coming out of the room disgusted i mean girls aren't you supposed to be the cleaner sex i mean that's what i assumed i mean yeah the excuse is they're more beautiful that's the only that's that's the oh, difference that it? That's why we assume they're a lot cleaner. Uh, okay. <laughs> the assuming part is there. No, I'm <laughs> saying that they're they're the more beautiful ones. They're you know we just us guys, man. We're just looking at them like, oh my gosh, you're from heaven. You got well, it. You know, actually, it, it kind of makes sense. All of a sudden, it clicked in my head because I, you know, my first marriage, my my ex wife wouldn't let her let me even near her unless she <laughs> took a shower, right? Yeah. So that was about every three days. So there was no spontaneity in that relationship. Let me tell you, if you had, you know, the female Sasquatch walking around, need a, need a bath, shower, or shave, you know, <laughs> Lord, that, and let me tell you something that was really disgusting. Like living in that environment. And it was like constant smell of outdoors walking by you when you're, yeah, you're yeah. hanging out in the kitchen or you're hanging out in the living room. And you just, that whiff goes by and I'm like, seriously, it's a chick. What? <laughs> you would think, you know, she, and she would tell me that it was a waste of water to shower once or twice a day. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. yeah. We, um, I just got back from camping the other day, you know, the second I walk in the door, I love the old, uh, you know, come in, come in after a few days of no showering and just being out there camping in the woods and then come back home and you're like, Oh honey, I just want to give you a hug. I miss you so much. She's like, okay, quick hug. Now get your butt in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're tending it now that I've gotten older. I like my RV and I take my shower every morning. <laughs> yeah. I remember years ago, I was an Eagle Scout and we went to Philmont in New Mexico. And I, I, we were on the trail for seven or eight days, rain season, the whole nine. We got back to base camp and, and base camp was set up and we got in early. So we had to like stay way far away. But, you know, because we, they wouldn't actually let us in the camp. And I'm like, I don't care. Can I get into the damn shower? Right. So, like 17, 18 years old. Right. I, I remember that trip because I, um, this was the year that I really got into shape and I think I lost 25 pounds in seven days. I came home fit as a fiddle. I was feeling good. Oh, nice. And, uh, oh, it was glorious. But I was in the shower for a good hour, hour and a half, dude. And I, I mean, seven or eight days. And we did almost 100 miles that week. And, and it's wow. doesn't seem well I, I mean to me it doesn't seem like a lot going to the time but when you're you got mud up to like just below your knee and you got a 70 pound pack on you now this was before this was like back in the beginning you know i'm older than and you josh and this was in the beginning of the ultralight stuff you know that they have now they yeah. just started getting into the ultra lightweight stuff when it came to camping and backpacking and yeah you, you stepped <laughs> into some muddy trail man you were down the boots, the boots, the boots, the boots. yeah yeah <laughs> i got my first bear on that trip though i'll tell you yeah was it yogi i don't know what he was but all i know is he slept right next to me so i in the middle of the night i woke up to the snoring wow. and smacking my partner in the head knock it off knock it off he rolls over he's like that ain't me and then i look to my left and there's this massive imprint rolling into the tent the bear fell asleep right next to me outside the tent Oh my! 
I did not sleep for another two or three days. Let me tell you. Did you guys put out the fire then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I just yeah, want to make sure, you know, because if, if it was a bear with a shovel and you would have had a, there was there being an excuse for it. <laughs> He's still on the smoky thing. No, you, no, smoke. I said Yogi first, and then I brought oh. up Smoky. Yeah, he. he well, hold on, I have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, so well, like, we've been, we've been, uh, we've been busy, right, yeah, we've been busy writing. Um, you know, on the other times that we're not playing, you know, especially because, you know, the, normally we get the days off and me and the family go out and yeah. we do stuff and we have fun, you know, but, um, you know, the, during this other times, we've been writing a lot of a lot of songs. Todd spent his time writing some songs and and we're both trying to trying to improve during this during this time. And that well, what better way can a musician spend their time at home? When they can't go anywhere. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. And, and, you know, I was saying the other day, you know, there's a lot of people that are at home stressing, panicking that aren't working. And it's like, well, you can come out of this any way you want. You yeah. can better yourself, better your situation. You know, I technically should be in the other room lifting weights and taking, doing laps in the pool. <laughs> I choose not to. I prefer the beer and working yeah. in the studio. That's right. That's right. But, okay, you know, we have the nicest yard in the neighborhood. I should have told you to come over. <laughs> I'm like I don't understand like my neighbor's got two three foot weeds and our front yard looks immaculate and the backyard needs a little trimming but other than that it just looks like a nice pool paradise let's just get out there and drink margaritas and swim and listen to Josh Roy do a solo at my poolside so sorry about your bad luck and that would be a terrible that would be a terrible experience for all I think you think so <laughs> <laughs> So, so now, Josh, I mean, as you know, the past couple of years, we've kind of, we've broadcasted all over the country. So you, you're a good chance you're going to have people um, even watching you as far as Australia that may not know you today. So before we start talking music, music in terms of like what's coming up, uh, what you have coming up next, um, let's introduce you guys to some, some new folks out there. So why don't you um if you can josh give me um a little like little background on where you come sure. from and what made you wanted to get into this and how long you've had the band and um and, and and where you're planning on going from here very cool of course yeah so i um i'm i'm born in arizona raised in arizona um we uh heck i I started doing karaoke. That's what's where it all began with me. My my mother's my mother's run karaoke since I can remember, and she just brought me up there to start singing. Um, even though I, you know, against my will, basically, she, you know, it was like one of those scenarios where it's, oh hey, uh, you've been voluntold to sing this, uh, you know, this this one song or whatever. So I I would have to, I'd have to go in front of about yeah fifty people, you know, <laughs> just be nervous in front of everybody going and she's like man you're so great you're so great and uh you know if i was to if they if video cameras were invented back then i might have i might have been able to look back and go oh my if i would have heard myself back then and known what good sounded like i probably would never be a, a, a country singer <laughs> um so she's saying she she sang a lot uh my you know a lot of my a lot of my family my paternal and maternal side are are singers or or player, you know, uh, guitar players or bass players or, you know, all sorts of musicians everywhere. Um, and, you know, I, I, growing up, I listened to, I listened to a lot of, a lot of country radio and that was all I listened to, uh, between three stations of, of 96.3 and, and, uh, 1025, 1079. Those were the, those were the stations I was listening to. So I, um, I got hooked on country music at a very young age and then decided, you know, I, you know, made a decision to go into construction for 11 years and at job sites, I would be singing on my scaffold and people would come in and there's one of two things that I've ever heard, which was, Hey, don't quit your day job. Or uh, the second was, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> you know? Oh, yikes. <laughs> what's that all about so telling me to get the heck out of construction and start doing something with the music you know and and that i actually honestly when 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 i first heard that you did construction i was like 
but he's so small. Because <laughs> in person, like, so I followed you for a long time, and I'm like, God, this guy, you know, when we first, we would talk every now and then. This is when I still lived in Chandler before I was married. I'm like, this guy is awesome. And then we talked on the phone once or twice. I'm like, super nice guy. First time I saw you in person, I'm like, he young, he's small. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm this husky football player dude. i played football for years and it was just like totally unexpected that you know this awesome voice came out of you i'm not again not making fun of you you're a good looking kid and everything um <laughs> <I'm into that>. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> but it was it was like when i found out the construction i think i was like no way because i the the vision that i had of you since the first time I saw you to the first time we met and chatted and everything was, I just envisioned this kid from the time he could lift his bottle was picking up a guitar. That's all you ever did. That was <laughs> that the, the vision um, that, you know, that I think as, as a listener and as a watcher that I was getting from you, does that yeah. make sense? That's I was cool. like, it, it just seems like it's like you were born to do this. I don't want to be a construction worker or look like a construction worker. So I take zero offense to this whatsoever. Well, <laughs> I, I do construction as a hobby, man. So it's like, you know, <laughs> so I've been out with them guys. So I'm sure, you know, construction humor too. Just like, Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, we're yeah. like, uh, Hey man, you see these jokes, it's pregnant. We're halfway through right now. We're going to finish it. We're going to deliver this one. <laughs> I learned that on a job site. Yeah. So. You'll get me a brand new level bubble. <laughs> 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 yeah and then the band um and the band that we um we that i have now uh, we uh, that was the first band i joined in um in 2000 2010 i joined okay. um i joined a band um and with this guy and and uh, my drummer um john burry this is todd Kenyon, by the way is my guitar player and oh, yeah. uh, Todd, we forgot to <laughs> introduce you. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> I'm, so, the, I'm the side side kid. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, guitar players are a dime a dozen. Yeah, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, they're really not. Good thing I got quarters. <laughs> so, uh, so we we joined. Uh, I joined the band as the for my first band, and sang as like the lead singer, but I only took about half the show. If I was lucky, you know, I maybe had a uh -huh. third to a half of the show that I would sing. Cause that's all the songs I knew. Uh -huh. And, uh, later on, you know, I, I did the one thing that, that probably every musician's, uh, you know, advised against, which is quitting the band for a girl. So I did, Ooh. you know, I've had my, I've had my moments in my life where I've made some, some not so great, not so great decisions, you know, um, and uh, ain't proud of them, but uh, it's it's been a it's been a learning process, and I'm actually taking the lessons and learning from them. And I have um, years later, um, I you know after I quit that band, I a few years later started my own band and named it the Josh Roy Band. And I just kind of went through went through a few different uh, musicians here and there, and kind of did more of a for hire kind of thing. And uh, ain't proud of them, but man. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, we, uh, I got a call from John one day, my drummer and he's, and he was like, Hey, are you looking for a guitar player and, 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 a, and a drummer? And I said, well, actually, I mean, yeah. And here's my chance to redeem myself, you know, from leaving the band for a girl. <laughs> and that was three years ago that John called me and these guys, I think four years ago, uh, 2000, yeah, 2016. I think, yeah, yeah 2016, oh, wow. four years ago. And, and, uh, you know, he bust my chops a lot. I, you know, I bust his chops a lot. He's better at it than I am, but, um, <laughs> sarcasm is real. Yeah. yeah. Sarcasm <laughs> is my life. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of, that's kind of how the band's been, been going. We, you know, I've, I've gotten some really cool opportunities and, and uh, here I am on on Country Road Entertainment on a you know on a live stream, which is which is unbelievable, you know. I mean, yeah, I remember, on a Friday at three thirty when everybody's in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. By the way, we, we got some guests in here. For you uh, and I'll remind everybody we are live, so feel free to ask Josh uh, any questions, make comments. You're more than welcome to pick on him. 
you can try and pick on me, but I've heard it all. So good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> we have a, a Nicole Oliver. Hi, Josh and Todd. Hi. Hey, we know you. <laughs> yeah. That's one. That's one. Of, that's one of my fans that that uh, she she always she she always joins our live streams and and comments and uh, you know helps us out and and uh, she's she's really a super fan. She's pretty cool. Outstanding. Thanks for coming in, Nicole. Give us a don't forget to smash that like button and give us a share so more people can see Josh. <laughs> David Lyons, I love this guy. He's hysterical. Wow, I did that too. David, did you leave the band for a woman? <laughs> <laughs> I, and of course, you know, I can't even laugh about it because I was in music and then I married my first wife and that guitar got hung up on the wall and that's where it stayed. She was done. Didn't want me near it. Nothing. And it wasn't until um, we were separated. She comes over to the house that I'm living. So I, I owned a second property. So I got rid of the renters and I moved in and uh, she goes and hears me singing Johnny Cash. Next thing I know, I'm in the, the circuit on the West side. And I'm like, what? the hell just oh <laughs> uh, let's see here oh uh, nicole says that she loves you guys oh we love oh, you too nicole. Shared it. thanks nicole <laughs> we got some chatters in here yeah david i did not, <laughs> yeah, you I did did. not know that david and if, <laughs> if i if you did tell me that i apologize i've since forgotten it's been a it's been a crazy time he must have gotten the same lessons in life that i did from the same person so you know that, yeah it's possible yeah, and that explains his sense of humor. The guy has the best jokes. Let me tell you, post them on Facebook all the time. I love it. <laughs> we got uh, Rob Bogdan's in the uh, chat. Hi, Josh. Yeah, Tom. Rob. What's up, buddy? We're uh, we're actually gonna be we're gonna be hanging out with him here in a little bit. Yeah, we got a little show going on. Um, you know, kind of like one of those kickback things. Like um, right thing. after the show, so we're driving out to your side of town, out in Gilbert, to go hang out with him. <laughs> So you got some singles you're working on, eh? Yes, yes. And we just got back in the studio as of um, as of a, a couple weeks ago. So Oh, really? Oh yeah, we're going to be we're going to at this point now, we're going to have on our on this album, we're going to have I think 13 songs. Oh, oh, you know what? That's right. When you jumped into the cast the other day, um you had mentioned that and I was like that's a decent sized album right there. Yeah. I want to give people a variety, you know, and, and the thing is, is that, you know, um, you know, Brian, Brian Cuban is a very, very smart guy. I'm very good with the business, very good producer, everything. He's been doing all my stuff. And, and he had mentioned to me, which, uh, which is, is a valid point that you don't want to put too many songs on an album because realistically, you know, out of an entire album, there's probably going to be at best, maybe about three or four songs that are going to be, you know, kind of like the hit songs the things the songs that make you and the rest to go to waste i'm like well i mean i don't i of course don't want my songs to go to waste at all um but you know we've we've kind of been put on hold with a lot of this stuff um putting out the album and and uh we just keep writing and, and i don't want what i don't want is to start building it so much that you know we don't have the time or you know it's just we're, we're so far behind schedule that we have all these songs and we just keep writing more. So let's put them all on there and just keep writing. They can only get better. I think, you know, so I take it. You've had plenty of time to work on this stuff. Then <laughs> a few hours. Yeah. That's good. A few hours. <laughs> see what we got here real quick before I'm going to put you guys on the spot. Kathy says, hi guys. Love oh you. Oh my gosh, Kathy. I haven't seen you forever. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're going to see her tonight. Yes. Yes. Oh, cool. cool. Thanks for Everything stopping. Kathy for a, quite a long time. This, I mean, this was, uh, well, back at Santan flat before all the stuff began. So this is pre March, you know, and probably out in February last time that we maybe even January, I don't know. Um, but it feels like forever. So I can't wait to see you tonight. <laughs> and tonight you're, you're doing a show. It was at six or seven. Uh, six o'clock at six o'clock. We're going to get there and start setting up and, and, uh, bring in lawn chairs or lawn chairs or camp chairs, which reminds me if you're going there tonight and you didn't see Rob's post, make sure you bring a camp chair or a lawn chair, something you can sit in and BYOB. You'll be, uh, showing this live on Josh Roy music or Josh Roy. I, so I don't have my tripod right now to set it up. Um, oh, okay. but I suppose I could figure out something. Where I can at least go live for a little bit. Maybe I'll my computer. 
You're a musician. Where are your tripods? <laughs> well, I don't have the connection for All my phone. All he's got is a quad pod. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love the buttons. Of it's sad, though, because, because we're on the air. I only get one of those channels. I actually have three <laughs> more buttons of fun on there. But, you know. <laughs> got a... Uh, Nicole Oliver here saying that she can't wait for the album and she loved Tornado. Yes. Um, um, Nicole, or is it called have you, have you seen the, um, or have you heard the actual full production version? And if not, uh, message me on Facebook and I'll, what I'll do specifically for you um, is share that song with you, but do not share that song with anybody else until I have it on the album. So you're telling her or telling me? Fans. What's that? You're telling her or you're telling me? I'm telling her so that way okay. she knows. Ah. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll self-destruct. <laughs> yeah. Like Mission Impossible or like the new yeah. MacGyver with the thumb drive. Steve, blows off the side of the laptop. Just blow up in your system. So. We got a big, yeah. big yes from Kathy over here. <laughs> right on, right on. Yeah. So, so uh, what are you going to play for us, Josh? Well, I, I figured uh, if, if people are still at home and they ain't at work, they're probably sipping on something or or uh, drinking a beer, maybe even shotgunning one if they're really good at it. And, um, you know, if you want to get really fancy, you're going to be playing a little bit of beer pong. I don't know. I mean, I'm not at your house. I can't tell what you're doing. But uh, we wrote a drinking song in case you are. And this is called... Uh, this is called What Drinking's For. <laughs> shot sees you're somebody I can trust. Two shots sees that you're my friend enough to have one more drink before that tap gets closed. I ain't seen you can't mix it on up. A different combination of something you love. Good times, good whiskey, and drinking with friends. After all, it's something drinking is for. Have a good time when the bartender pours. Drinking and dancing to the country band out on the floor. I believe that's what drinking is for. Shots says you're a woman I can love. Two shots says that I'm a man you can trust. We both know that it's just a matter of time. For your heart starts asking for mine. Even though I believe you're someone that's out of my league. After all, something drinking is for. Summon up the courage to get you out on. If we make it to the last call, maybe even have one more. Have a name that's what drinking is for. I'm a little drunk. I'm gladly leaving here with no luck. Leaving this place and leaving behind my pickup truck. A little hungover when I wake up. My head will be aching. Ain't a right to be complaining. After all, it's something drinking is for. That double shot of Jack knocked me out on the floor. The only way to get myself ready for any more I believe it's what drinking is for yeah, The only way to get myself ready for any more It's definitely, positively, absolutely what I believe it drinking is for Yeah. 
で。いいいい。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、I hate that it takes my mic off when I do that. <laughs> can, you can hear me, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. you're just laughing at me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We're well, laughing with, with you. you. Yeah. Laughing with me? Yeah. I would say you would, would be laughing near me, but we're social distancing. So there's. I know. I know. You two are close <laughs> enough to hug at this point. Hey, so. we can still get an Air 5, right? That's right. Now, There you go. There. See, Air 5. It worked. Boom. Okay. Wait, yeah, that way. <laughs> Nicole enjoyed it. That's right. <laughs> hey, she's got one beer for each of us. Yeah, all right, all right. That's a good girl. I like her. <laughs> I dig it. I dig it. So, um, what do you have a name for the album? Did I miss that? Or are we not um, announcing that or anything? We're probably going to wait for that. We're probably going to wait for that. I, I, I may even just name it Tornado because that's, oh, really? like, yeah, that's been like the one. The one song that is kind of really took off, made things happen, I think. Well, you get them fresh, you got to be sure to, to get, a, get us a couple of CDs. We got this pile that we're going to start、um, when we start doing contests again here soon and、um, giving out、uh, musician CDs so they can、cool. tell their friends that、yeah. everyone goes to iTunes and buys it. Now, I assume you're going to be on iTunes and Spotify.、Oh, yeah. So, I have, I mean, I have some old stuff on there. I mean, I have stuff that I wrote,、um, good Lord,、uh, eight years ago、uh, that are on Spotify right now.、Um, it's just under Josh Roy Band.、That's、okay.、It. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, that was, the, that, was the, that was one of the brand new ones that I just put together. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Todd looks underwhelmed. That's because he's drinking Mountain Dew. That's right. I know. Gotta chill out, huh? I'm keeping low glucose. <laughs> low glucose. <laughs> keeping it low. <laughs> well, it could be worse. It could be like we can involve sodium, but then he would be drinking like Kikoman over there, soy sauce, lots of salt. I don't know why it came to mind. My, kid, my kids eat so much ramen noodles and soy sauce. And like, why didn't、oh, yeah. I hear glucose. I, hear, I think it's sodium and all that, too. <laughs> hey, man, I, I, I don't leave the house very much anymore. My humor is a little dried up and become dad humor. <laughs> That's why you're wearing the shirt. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to wear my Grizzly Rose one today. I just forgot to change. Hey. I I sp- I had a, we were actually having technical issues. We almost had to postpone.、Um, I was having、uh, problems with I, th- I thought originally my camera, but it turns out Chrome is a piece of junk browser today. Oh, wow. You only saw half of me. That was not going to work. Oh, no. Yeah, you're going to see all of you. Well, that's, people, need, people need all of you. Yeah, yeah. People have been looking at my face for years. I'm sure they're good. That's why we have the podcast <laughs> now. So, y'all can go to podcast.countryroad.net and you can listen to us and you don't have to look at my mug anymore. You know, <laughs> looking at my mug for years. <laughs> yeah. Surprise、um, how well that's been doing. You realize we are on、um, almost 20 different platforms now? Oh, wow. wow. Oh, yeah. Well, it just, it just like, like、awesome. how, much, how much more can I reach? Oh, yeah. And the downloads are going actually quite well. That's、so. amazing. That's because yeah, they don't see it. buddy. That's really、oh, good.、Man. I'm excited.、Yeah. I, my, my wife is、uh, very, very supportive. So, you know,、well, even though, even though things have been. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my wife is awesome. Like, like I said, she keeps <laughs> refilling my、um, brown water, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's all water. I got it. It's all water. Actually, if, if, I mean, you've hung out enough with me that this basically is water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean,、um, beverages in Denver have more、um, kick than that thing does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to get you one of these days, man. We got to get you up to the Grizzly Rose. I would love to go there. I've seen pictures, man. It, I, I want to start traveling. I want to get out,、oh, experience I, I a few、it. things. I, I've been trying to get the Highway 260 band to travel, but you know,、uh, Dustin hasn't retired yet. You know, <laughs> yeah, he's always、There's、busy. That.、Yeah. Well, if you do the Grizzly, you got to do a solid week、yeah. at the venue. 
Okay. So, I mean, there is that. And I mean, nobody knows that place better in my opinion than Nathan D and the damn band. They played there so many times and the Grizzly is such a killer venue. I'm telling you when I got on the stage uh, right before they started um, their show, they were opening for Lee Bryce, the energy. And the, I mean, there's like, while we were setting up, there was maybe 800 people. And then when I started shooting, there's like 22 people, 2,200 people in the room. And I just started losing my mind. <laughs> it, it was insane. There's just so many people there. <laughs> and the question is, is you got little one. So, yeah. And then you got one on the way, right? Yep. So you, here soon. You, think, you really think she's going to let you go on the road? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? She's been, yeah. She's been trying to get me on the road. She's been trying to. And I don't, and I don't mean that in a real negative way. I mean, she, she loves having me around, but, um, she's, uh, she's kind of putting all, putting it all on, on the same, you know, um, she's, she's just as excited to see the success out of what I'm doing as I am. So excellent. excellent. Yeah, so she's, she's wanting me to start traveling and start, start making this stuff happen. So, I mean, the traveling part. I mean, we already have traveled. We've, I mean, we've, we've played in, we've played out in Texas, but in, in San, or no, uh, uh, um, no, uh, um, Fort Worth, Texas. We've, we've been out to, um, Durango, Colorado. We've, I mean, we've played in, um, I mean, I've played in Nashville. Um, uh, I mean, there's in, in Mexico, we did, we did, uh, we did Rocky point and, I mean, we're, we're technically yeah, yeah. traveling, but, um, but not in the sense of, of actually going on a traveling kind of mini tour, you know, which is more of what I want to accomplish. That's the next thing on my, on my list. I'm with you. I dig it. I, um, you know, I, but my wife's the same way. She wants to see me on the road and everything again, too. Yeah. And, and you know what happened to me the last time I hit the road, I was supposed to be gone for about a week or so. Right. And yeah. you know, I had to come back early. You, yeah, yeah. Remember, I was. I started. Oh, having, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. So I had a chest infection, infection that never went away, and as a result of that, so I, I guess I was having those oxygen depletion issues, and of course, I'm in Prescott, which is a mile high. Yeah, and it it made it that much worse. I was literally a whole completely different person for a few days. Like, yeah, you know, well, that was right around the same time of the of this of this thing going around. So. Quite, quite a huge possibility, I think. You know, I, I am curious if I got if I had gotten tested if I had actually had COVID at this point. So yeah. that infection was brutal. And in the very beginning, there was a fever, but who knows? You know, hey, now all I know is I've been good in now. So that's what I care for. Yeah. Well, I mean, I still I still have to have oxygen supplements until I could go to the doctor, but and figure out why that's happening. <laughs> yeah. Well. But at least I don't have the pain, so that's a good thing. Yep, stay healthy, buddy. Keep drinking a bunch of that water. Oh, that's what I do all day long. <laughs> Drink this, and then actually this is the the one with the supplement in it. Yeah. This, I'm telling you, man, if I was drinking this when I was a teenager, screw 12 miles a day. I've been writing like 20 miles a day. This thing's this is amazing stuff. <laughs> a few drops, you know. <laughs> so Betsy's uh, sending you all some love. Oh, Hi, Betsy. Nicole says Megan is amazing. Yeah, that's that my wife, Megan. Yes, yeah, she is, and I think she knows it too. Yeah, most <laughs> most wives know. They do. I tell her. I tell her every so often, just just a just a reminder, you know. Yeah, what it, there yeah, is well, no alternative reason that I tell her how amazing she is, other than just to tell her she's amazing. <laughs> he writes it on a post-it. <laughs> yeah. Which, yeah, I used to write those little notes and everything like that, and then I got lazy. Like when we were like, <laughs> engaged, I'd leave sticky notes everywhere, telling her how yeah. much ever and everything. <laughs> then I got lazy, and then she started writing them, and and uh, I didn't write any back, so she doesn't write them anymore. But um, they seem to have all collected around the coffee maker, so I'm have to I'm reminded every morning um, <laughs> how awesome she is and how much she cares. So, but Hey, listen, I mean, there's nothing, if you're going to, if you're going to get married, settle down, there's nothing more important than find, finding someone that's going to be your true partner and actually support you. Yeah. You know? And exactly. you and I, we, we all, we don't have normal jobs. So Man. it's got to take a very patient, you know, partner, wife, spouse, whatnot to put up with it. I think. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Being gone a lot. Yep. That's right. And so as ever, it's ever changing, you know, I mean, it changes from day from, from week to week, you know, and that's the, that's, 
kind of like that. You can't really plan. You can't really pre-plan things because sometimes I even get, you know, a, a show that comes up last minute where they're like, Hey, we need somebody right now. And right. Whatever, we had that week and they're like, I'm, I gotta go work. You know, I gotta, we, we gotta go do this. This is the, this is the thing, you know, part partially, you know, I mean, because we need to make the money and, and, uh, second is, um, you know, it's, it's part of the career. It's part of the getting in front of other people that haven't seen us yet, you know, and that's the, that's one of our goals. So. And that's, that's always going to be the goal. Get out there. Yeah. Yep. I, I, but the, I, I'll tell you though, I can't do the whole last minute cause I get those calls and they'll, they'll call me at like three o'clock and they want me somewhere at like five thirty six o'clock. And the last time that happened, they want me at the Goodyear airport to shoot in like two and a half hours. I'm like, I don't have enough time to get there and set up, man. It's like, I gotta, you yeah, know, I can get there, but <laughs> I'm going to be there really late. You know, <laughs> I mean, cause I'm sitting here going, okay, by the time I pack up the gear, make sure all my batteries, everything's ready to go. Haul yeah. out to good. You, you know where I live. I'm in Mesa. So by the time yeah. I got there, I mean, cause I gotta be like you, I gotta be there an hour, hour and a half early to start setting up. Yep. I'm like, there's sound check. Like I started an hour and a half ahead time today and I was still late. Yeah. <laughs> there's nothing more annoying. So <laughs> on, um, I got, I got comments outside of the chat, but on one of our, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, I always forget the watch parties. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And someone's never been here before, and they're saying more action, less talk. I don't know what that means. And there's mean play more music, I guess. And then it's first time here, so I mean, hey guys, this is a talk show, and we want to play music for sure. But you know, I mean, we're getting to know the band as well. So, but yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and let's jump into another tune. All right, cool. Um, this one right here is a pickup truck, and this is a song written by Mr. Todd Kenyon. <laughs> Took me a whole summer just to buy it But I knew that step aside was what I'd want I didn't even take it on a test drive That lifted Chevy was all I could see And when I sat down on that bench seat The sales guy threw me the key Said, son, I wish you the best of luck. You're gonna love this truck. Should have seen my smile when I drove that first mile. I knew my dreams came true. With the windows down and the way them horses sound, you know I'll never get stuck. I finally got my first pickup truck. My bird dog loves to take little rides. He stick his head out that window seat. And he couldn't stop his tail from wagging. Get everyone he sees. And my first love sat there in the middle. She's every country boy's daydream. But we hit the dirt road out into the county. And just to find ourselves a fishing stream. Hell, even if we don't catch that much. We're together in my pickup truck. Should have seen my smile when I drove that first mile. I knew my dreams came true. With the windows down and the way them horses sound, you know, I'll never get stuck. Cause I finally got my first pickup truck. I know it's sold and filled with rust, 
but it's still running. And it's time I gave it to my son. Yeah, it's called pickup truck. Oh, was, was all over that. She knew what it was. <laughs> How many people know what you got going? <laughs> yeah, we um, I know that we, we kind of got to get rolling here just a little bit soon because we got to go to a show, um, eat dinner and go to a show. So, um, but uh, first off, I mean, I I really want to say thank you, Eddie. Um, thanks for having us on this thing. Um, thanks for all that you do. Um, you're a huge support and and uh, and and country music and, and live entertainment out here in Arizona and and I and I believe also also in Colorado, right? Yeah, we just branched out to Denver right before all this happened. Um, and I was supposed to be in Denver after I was in Prescott, and uh, that didn't happen because of my health. But we'll get out there and definitely build that group. Some awesome. more. Yeah, um, what you guys yeah. do, what you guys do is awesome, and 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 I, you know. This is this is this is cool. I mean, I I don't I don't think um, I don't think without I mean without people like you that that do this kind of stuff, there's there's little to little to no improvement that that these bands get to get to achieve, you know. And and uh, and if they did, it would be a lot slower. So I appreciate all that you do, and thanks for the thanks for the shirt, thanks for the thanks for the sticker that's on the back window of my car, and. I actually apologize. I um, kind of messed up on that. You were supposed to get one for your wife. So do me a favor. <laughs> when you have time later, send send me a text so I don't forget uh, what size and if she wants a tank top or a V-cut uh, lady shirt, and I'll make sure my wife gets that in the mail tomorrow. Yeah, she probably is Friday. Do right? tank top. Um, but yeah, I'll, well, you know, I'll text you all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when it went out, I still looked at my wife. I'm like, we sent them a the welcome kit right and you but you had we did we send the extra for his wife and she's like no i sent him one shirt I'm like what size she's like i told you before look at the list i don't have a list i gave you the list we don't know what the list is. <laughs> so but you know and actually i mean i could always just meet up with you and give give you the shirt too doesn't matter just let me know but um yeah i apologize i meant for the both of you to have it we usually send know, man. It's totally cool. well we want to involve the wives too they get it they get into it some of them don't get out as much you know as others because <laughs> yeah, it's, my wife is like 50 50 as much as my wife is die hard country music and die hard live music and you know i mean she's she's a mom so yeah you know, and that fit my my 15 year old is getting more demanding as she gets older <laughs> she doesn't want us to go out i'm like well i have to go out i gotta go film you know <laughs> daddy's gotta go make a living somehow yeah Hashtag okay. the life of a creator i don't know what to tell you <laughs> but yeah, yeah um, I appreciate you saying that. And, you know, I mean, I mean, look at, you know, I, 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 I'm not tooting my own horn or anything, but look at Dustin, man. Oh like, yeah. Holy Christmas. Like, yeah. you know, I've had people come up to me and they literally, you know, you know, three glasses in, but they're looking at me going, bro, I didn't even know who these guys were six yeah. months ago. They're awesome. Like, how do you do that? I'm like, I, I, I just, I just do. And it's, you know, everybody loves them you know so he's yeah. like and he's he and he's got that following like you do where they just they love you you're and you're warm and welcoming and entertaining and you're you're good to your fans you know that's that's important man and and again i've said it before though i mean we have in arizona such awesome you know musicians and uh for the for the majority of them they they all have this camaraderie and they're very welcoming and you have the ones that act as stewards as um, others come in, you, yourself included. You come up in conversation where you, you you see the new guy on the block and you'll you'll help give them some guidance and everything like that. Because the thing is, is a lot of people don't realize it's not a competition. We're all here for the same reason is to entertain the masses. And, um, and the sooner the new ones realize that because the ones that come in and they're trying to compete and, and they do all the stuff that we don't like to talk about on the air as musicians, they're the ones you never see again. Yeah. And the you know? undercut and all that stuff. So, well, I mean, you gotta think of it this way. I mean, the, the way that I, that I've experienced things in my life, um, is when I was, when I began this, um, I didn't get to go into these places because, um, because I, 
you know, was the sole person involved with it. You know, right. people were bringing me up with them and people were giving me the opportunities to sing with them in other bands. And, and, and that's, uh, that's something that I always like to pay forward. And as long as I pay that forward, then the people that I, that I would like to help that I, that I helped out did bring up too, I would want them to do the same exact thing. So, um, as opposed to, you know, the alternative, if you really had to bust your chops and, and, you know, work, work your tail off to get where you're, where you were and nobody was giving you a handout, I think you'd be less inclined to, to jump out and start bringing up an artist unless you're a really, really good person, you know? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's that, but I know in my early know. days, I didn't have much help. I had a lot of people, some people helped. And then a lot of, a lot of people said they were going to help and you know, that yeah. just never materialized. And, you know, and, and I, and I noticed that some of them are kind of there watching now and I'm like, well, I'm still here. <laughs> so, <laughs> they didn't expect me to last three and a half years, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Self-driven man. I ain't going nowhere. The only difference is, is that my day job used to fund it. Now that's not the case anymore. I, we were, we were laughing the other day, um, how I, you know, finally end up full time and which is my dream. And my family is like 100% behind it. And then within four weeks, lockdown hits. <laughs> and the thing yeah. is, is, we knew it was coming too. Cause we've been following it since, um, oh goodness. We've been following it since uh, late December. So we knew that virus was coming. We didn't know it was going to be that bad. The suit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing. The day they announced the bars and restaurants were closed, man. And I shudder to my 15 year olds. Like she totally got it. She's like, she's like, you're not upset that they're just closing. You're upset that they're closing, closing. And like, yeah, that's, that's your daddy's income. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, oh. I mean, that's where your sponsors come in, you know, and that's the whole yeah. thing. Um, oh yeah. It's huge. I mean, without, without Patreon and we're not, we don't have a lot on Patreon, but without it, um, you know, it would be, I don't think I would quit, but you would for now, at least there would be very little content coming out for yeah. sure. Well, and that's the, I mean, I think the most important thing that, that the listener probably that that's on the other side of this video, um, if there is one thing you guys need to know, is that you know being being somebody who's going to help support uh, Country Road Entertainment? You're definitely somebody that's going to pay it forward to the to other musicians and to others. So, you know your your investment is going to go a lot lot further than just for Country Road Entertainment. So, oh, that was um, that's why I joined in as well, um, and that's why I mean I I I love being a part of it. Um, and I think that that my with my help as well, it's it's also helping out the Arizona Arizona country music. Um, oh, I was when, when you told when you told us you were going to come on as a patron, that was like a huge thing in our house. Like we were super excited because it's not just like anybody; it's like Josh is actually <laughs> Josh is backing us up. We love it. You know? <laughs> By the way, hi Freckles, hi Julie, good to see y'all. But yeah, we were so we were so excited. I'm like, um, I mean. I mean we just, we, I mean, obviously, I mean, you know how much I love music and you can see in the background, this is not a set. This is really my studio, you know, yeah. there's an amp and a monitor right here. <laughs> yeah, not two just of my guitars, right? <laughs> this is, this is the real deal, you know? And, um, but we're, we're just not, you know, big support. We're fans, you know, yeah. and, you know, and, um, we don't just like publicly go through it, but yes, my wife has a top 10 for the Smith family. <laughs> It's like <laughs> she knows who she she knows who she likes and who she loves and she's very verbal <laughs> behind closed doors and sometimes in public about who she doesn't like but we 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 try to keep that under wraps <laughs> yeah she gets, she gets one yeah. too many pair of siders and she's like i don't like him oh, honey you can't <laughs> honey here's a, here's a drink <laughs> here's another drink sip on this <laughs> it's like you know then you're like crystal crystal bring her another shot Cause she'll be quiet for a little bit. She's getting a little too animated. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I like to, I like to share, I like to share one more song before we go out. Um, that would be awesome. And uh, this is uh this is a song that, that I wrote because this guy taught me what a six, eight was uh, progression. So I, um, I, yeah. So, so I ended up uh, writing a song in a six, eight timing that it's definitely a got it's got a bottle in it it's got um it's got a, a girl in it it's got pain it's got pain you know and and it's country. Uh, 
talking about talking about swallowing pride and and being a man and admitting when you're wrong. So, all right, um, this is uh, this is called "Come Back Home." Everybody, this is Josh Roy and Todd from the Josh Roy Band. Cigars, my guitars, and my memories, and everything that would help remind me I was wrong when I told you I didn't have no problems. You were gone. That
called Come Back Home. I like it. That one deserves a cheer. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you guys hear that audience? You hear that audience? That was great. Massive. I love all you guys. <laughs> I, well, like, I appreciate oh, you having us, I, man. I love I love that you have uh, such awesome fans. I love it. <laughs> yeah, they all clap at the same time. It almost sounds like a pre-recording. That's right. Nicole, <laughs> the next time I'm at a Josh Roar show, once everything opens up, come find us. Uh, well, come find my wife. She'll give you a T-shirt. Yes, yes. Eddie, thanks for having me and me and Todd here. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming on the air, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, and we'll um, I, hopefully we'll catch each other in, in May first. I hope that uh, you know, I mean, if things open up, I hope everything works out perfect, and and uh, we all get to see each other. And hopefully, we all stay healthy. That's right. Hey, you know what? Just wash your hands. You can still social distance. Stay away from each other if you you know if if you really really need to, and and uh, just respect each other basically. And I think that I think if you if you do those things, you'll you'll stay healthy. Exactly. And you don't have to bring the drinks up to the Josh Roy band as tips. Just bring them over to the country Road entertainment table. Yeah. That's right. Social distancing for them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't reason. raid that table. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Although I forget what show it was at a highway Two Sixty show. We were walking around with these. I got the, I stole the idea from David Foss. I admit it at a massive tray of, uh, jello shots. We were walking around just giving them out to the audience. Man, I'll tell you something. People had a blast that night. It's funny how they have a couple of jello shots and then like the dance floor like doubles within five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, there you have it. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much, buddy. And and uh, we hope to catch up with you here soon. Yeah, same here, guys. Be safe. Stay healthy. Take care of your families and we'll see you all soon. Sounds good, bud. All right. Have a good one. You too. Well, there you have it, folks. Now, I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, again, we all appreciate y'all coming with the social distancing. Um, you know, we do the, the live streams. We do them virtually now. Um, we can't wait to get back out on the road and uh, hanging out with the bands and filming that live and doing the interviews and whatnot. But um, we appreciate you watching, and we hope that, um, if you're watching us on Facebook, be sure to go over to the country road entertainment page and smash that like button and follow us. So you get a notification from Facebook. When we do go live, we do a lot of off, um, offline videos too. We have one coming up here in the next 24 hours. It'll be, it'll be uploaded talking about specifically what it's going to be like for country music and the venues when we open back up and maybe some things we might be able to expect, um, and then also, if you uh, have YouTube access, it's free. Go over and smash that the subscribe button and the alert, uh, the notifications alert button, bell right there. And every time we upload any type of video, you'll be one of the first to catch it. And uh, again, the, our our videos are really entertaining. We we travel all over the country uh, with the artists. We um, do a lot of uh, live music feeds, live interviews, and just uh, all kinds of cool stuff. You know. And, uh, I mean, this is what we do. We're here to keep you connected to the live local country music scene, wherever it might be. Uh, we have, uh, oh, we actually have someone, uh, Stephen Fowler coming in from, uh, Saudi Arabia. Hey, Stephen, how you doing? What are you doing in, in Saudi Arabia? It's awesome. Robin Cove from New Jersey coming in. Hey, that's where I'm from. I think I actually, I think I, I think we've actually spoken before. That's right. Yeah. I, I'm um, originally from West Jersey, grew up in a farm community, um, on Hunterdon County. I used to sneak out to the river all the time and go fishing. So, but yeah, folks, we're going to start wrapping it up. Uh, if you, you all have any questions, um, before we shut down, I'll be happy to take those. Um, otherwise we'll be back in a few days. Oh, Stephen is a government contractor. Well, God bless you, sir. Be safe. Yeah, got government contracting. That's something <laughs> I was offered a job doing that many years ago in, in Iraq. And I was, yeah, that was a cold, hard no at the time. <laughs> I found out halfway through the conversation the reason why they wanted to get a crew out there so quickly is that the crew 
didn't make it into the compound one day. I'm like, you know, I don't really want that job. <laughs> so anyhow, folks, uh, appreciate you appreciate y'all being here. Um, again, give us that like, or hit that like button. If you like what we're doing here, check us out on patreon.com forward slash country road entertainment. We are viewer supported. Um, I do this full time. I am not monetarily wealthy. Uh, we've been at this three and a half years and we're going to keep going. And, uh, here soon, we're going to start seeing some artists from all over the country again. Um, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Steven, I respect that. Uh, I'm a Marine brat myself. Um, <laughs> I've heard the stories and, uh, thank you for your service. So, uh, for when you were in the Corps. All right, folks. Uh, I think that's going to be it. We're going to shut it down. Uh, we'll see you soon. God bless. Be safe. Wash your hands. Have a good night from Central Arizona.